In this question we're being asked to differentiate an equation which has a square root term and an algebraic fraction where x is on the bottom line. So before we start to differentiate what we need to do is consider the basic rule and that is that if we have an expression ax to the n the derivative is found by multiplying the index by the coefficient at the front and then reducing the index by 1. So to differentiate an expression like this we must have it so that the square root term is expressed as a power of x and we know the square root of x is x to a half and we also must express any term where x is on the bottom of the fraction such that the x is brought to the top line and we know from our index laws if we bring this x term to the top line it becomes x to the negative 2. You'll notice now that both parts of this expression are in a form which matches our original formula and that formula states that if y is equal to a multiplied by x to the n, the derivative is a multiplied by n, and x has a power that's dropped by 1. So our derivative for our expression becomes such that the power of a half goes out the front of this term. We drop the power by 1. We do need to be careful when we're subtracting from fractions, but a half minus 1 is negative a half. The same rule applies here. We take the power and multiply it by the term at the front. So 4 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 8. So we put minus 8 there. And we drop the power by 1, which means this becomes x to the negative 3. Now we can see here with negative indices and also a fractional index there as well, we can tidy this expression. So what we'll do is we'll first of all make this 1 over 2x to the positive a half. And here we'll go 8 over x to the positive 3. So now we've made the indices such that they're positive. Any fractional index is probably better written as a square root, but quite often the questions won't insist that. But what we'll do here to tidy it up is we'll make that 1 over 2 root x minus 8 all over x to the power 3.